Narito na ang inyong bagong magiging Sunday afternoon habit sa PG8 Radio. Isa oras ng inspiration, motivation at empowerment sa mga bagong paralan ng buhay sa online world. And for Radio Online. Invest early in life and be an entrepreneur. Ito ang susi sa inyong tagumpay. Matuto ng mga tips, techniques at best practices sa pagsisimula ng negosyo. Radio Online. Hapon mga ka-entreps, narito na ang programa para sa mga kabagong negosyanteng Pilipino. Ito ang Entrep Radio. Hatid sa inyo ng DWIZ 882 sa pakikipagtulungan ng Creative Voices Productions at ni Potsyolo The Voice Master Gonzales. Makakasama niyo kami tuwing linggo alas 2 hanggang alas 3 ng hapon para sa usapang punong-puno ng kalaman sa pagsisimula ng inyong pangkabuhayan. Maririnig nyo kami dito sa DWIZ 882 at mapapanood sa DWIZ Facebook page. Ako po si Rene Toralba. Ayan po, and si Rene. Linggo-linggo nagbibigay inspirasyon sa kahusayan at tagumpay ng bawat Pilipinong negosyante dahil dito sa Entrep Radio, may puso ang pagnanegosyo. Kaya Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao, isang maganda at maaraw na Mother's, Mother's Day? Hindi ba? Father's Day, parating ko. <laughs> Independence Day today. Independence Day. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> sa inyong lahat mga ka-entreps, welcome, welcome. At ito namin sa inyong isang oras ng information, inspiration, at motivation at empowerment para sa ating makabagong Filipino entrepreneurs. Ako po si Stephen Chase Lemon. At welcome po to Entrep Radio on DWIZ 882. The, the Voice, voice of, of Filipino, Filipino Entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs. Preps, kamusta kayo ngayong uh, Sunday afternoon? And syempre, happy 124th Independence Day sa lahat mm. ng mga Pilipino sa buong mundo. Sineselebrate natin ang ating Independence Day. <laughs> Ikaw, Chase, anong mga sineselebrate mo? Well, something like Independence Day. Ah. Next, next uh, parating is Father's Day, no? It's next just, week. Oh. Next week, yeah. June, June 19. 19. Kaya yes. mga ka-entreps, yung mga may negosyo dyan at gusto nyong... Uh, makagawa ng mga promos. Dapat ngayon na, no? Para makuha nyo yung sales na yan, no? Mm-hmm. Father's Day. Ano bang pwede ibigay sa ating mga father? Mm-hmm. And of course, aside from uh, Father's Day, no? Meron ding Laguna Day sa mga yes. taga-Laguna, June 19, no? Yan po ang ating uh, city anniversary. Mm-hmm. And Chase. Yan po. So, and also meron pong Uh, parating po ang C- second anniversary celebration ng CVAP on June 19. June 19 din yan. Yes, June 19. On the way. Ang dahil mangyayari sa June 19. And speaking of CVAP, no, katatapos lang po ng Batch 13 ng Certified Voice Artist Program. Yes. Ang Batch 14 naman po ay magsisimula sa July 12. Kung interesado kayong magboses o gumawa ng mga uh, dubbing, voice acting, paano, paano ba ginagawa yan? No? Mm-hmm. You can check out yung website nila. That's at certifiedvoiceartist.com or pwede niyong puntahan yung Facebook page nilang Certified Voice Artist. Sa Facebook. Yes. <laughs> Tama, sa Facebook. Most definitely. Okay. <laughs> no, And also, uh, this, actually, this June, we got a, marami tayong mga may birthday niya, no? So, shout out po sa mga may birthday dyan. First of, uh, first of all, si Sir, uh, Miss Rose Sevilla, June 12. Jonathan Edanio, June 13. James Madrid, June 13. Christian Gutierrez, June 16. Mikel, Nicole Toralba, June 16 Choi Toralba, June 16 And Arthur Christie, June 17 Ang dami birthday this June Happy birthday po sa inyong lahat And meron, kung meron po po kayong gustong ma- i-greet Or ipashoutout dyan, type nyo lang po sa comment section Dyan po sa video sa yes. yes And uh, eto mga ka-entreps Masaya po ang ating episode today Kasi yung ating guest for today nga naman no? mm. Talagang uh, sa ngayong uh, sabihin na natin sa pagninegosyo ngayong panahon na to no usong-uso yes. na talaga ang digital and paano ba natin magagamit ang digital essentially para sa ating negosyo how can we use it no para to improve no our uh, work our processes kumbaga maraming pinaggagamitan talaga pati pag uh, advertise ngayon hindi na lang basta-basta radyo hindi na lang basta-basta TV diaryo mm. meron na rin pong internet and kung hindi niyo pa ginagamit yan kailangan matuto <laughs> na kayong simulan yan kasi unang-una libre to at <laughs> malaki ang balik at tulong nito sa inyo mm-hmm. so ang guest natin for today 
uh, papakilala muna natin siya, no? si Sir oh, Undersecretary po, no? Arnold Ali Atienza. Siya po ang Undersecretary for Government Digital Broadcast Television and Digitization of the Entertainment Industry Sector. Mm-hmm. Sir Ali mag uh, can you greet our guests no ay our guests <laughs> our mga ka-entreps ngayong hapon at ay um uh, una magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat uh, of course uh, thank you for inviting me here and uh, sa mga nakikinig po sa mga nanonood na rin magandang magandang uh, hapon po sa inyo at uh, sana po ay mak- makapagbigay linaw ako sa mga programang ginagawa po ng ating departamento ng DICT yeah. Yun po. So, yan mga ka-entreps, no? uh, maririnig nyo po ang uh, full interview uh, after a short message no? and uh, some of our uh, tips mayamaya ng konti. No? So, si uh, Partner Faith ay nasa, uh, nasa Singapore ngayon, no? pero ini-expect kasi natin siya na mag-video ngayon para makita nyo rin kamusta ba. Uh, sa Singapore ngayon and anong ginagawa niya doon no? but in any case habang wala pa siya no? um, mapapanood at mapakikinggan ninyo ang Entrep Radio via the website dwiz882am.com mm-hmm. pwede nyo rin po i-download ang DWIZ882 application sa iOS at sa Android Live din po tayo sa DWIZ882 Facebook page. Pwede nyo panoorin, pwede nyo makita ang kagwapuhan ng ating guest and ng ating co-host na si Chase. No? <laughs> ang hotline po ng DWIZ, that's 8470-1750 hanggang 54. And ang text line is 0999-376-6768. Pwede nyo rin po syempre ang sundan ang Entrep Radio sa Facebook page natin. No? para mas marami kayong uh, kaalaman at informasyon pang makuha tungkol sa pagnenegosyo. Yes. Okay, like and follow na mga ka-entrips. Patuloy lang. <laughs> Ayan po. Mm. So, uh, before anything else, no, kasi nawala si Chase last week, no? Uh, pagbibigyan naman natin siya ngayon ulit. <laughs> Mr. Chase uh, Lemon, no? As, ano po bang uh, ating Entropedia tip ngayong araw na ito? Yes po, Chase Levin as your Mr. Entropedia mga ka-entreps. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Para po sa Entropedia tips natin ngayon, pag-uusapan natin tungkol sa online businesses. Kaya ngayon mga ka-entreps, ito po ang three tips natin para sa pagpapatakbo ng online business natin. Number one, Entropedia tip number one, kumuha ng mabilis na internet connection. As of anything, ngayon po. So bilang isang negosyo na nakasalalay sa internet, ang maayos at mabilis na connection ang kailangan natin. Mapapabilis at mapapadali ang mga operasyon ng ating mga negosyo kung nakakuha tayo ng connection na ganito. At yan po ang ating entropy tip number one. Mamaya po mayroon po tayong dalawang tips mga parting mga ka-entrips at tandaan natin kumuha ng mabilis na internet connection. Okay, that's it. Uh, I still think na nag-improve na yung Tagalog mo, Chase. No? So, uh, I'm so glad. <laughs> okay, since ang ating partner na si Faith ay mukhang uh, hindi pa nakakonect, no? hindi pa siya nakaka-message dito na ready na siya. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, simulan na natin no? para makausap at mapaalam na natin sa ating mga ka-entreps. No? Ano bang mm-hmm. meron sa ating guest today? Okay. So, and po si Sir Ali, if I may do a bit of introduction to him, uh, for him. So, si Sir Ali, he is a politician, athlete, and newscaster in the Philippines. And po, he's also the youngest of two sons of former, former Manila Mayor Lito Atienza. The other being si Sir, uh, the other being weatherman Kim Atienza. Si Kuya Kim. And po. And he also graduated from De La Salle University with a degree of BS in physics with specializations in computer applications and earned from the Pamantasan ng Lungsod na Manila his master's degree in government management. And, po, and also he graduated in 2016 from the National University of Singapore under the social, uh, sorry, under the School <laughs> of Public Policy in their senior management program. He was also appointed on December 4, 2020 as the Undersecretary for Government Digital, Digital Broadcast Television and the Digitization of the Entertainment Industry Sector in Department of Information and Communication Technology. And po, so, mga kaya please welcome Sir Arnold Ali Atienza. Right, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa napakilandang pagpapakilala. Uh, masasabi ko muna, hindi po ako kamukha ni Kuya Kim. <laughs> At, uh, actually, uh, hindi lang po yung digitalization ng uh, entertainment industry, but uh, actually, yung ease of doing business is also part of my uh, portfolio na. I see. Uh-huh. Uh, yung um, uh, central business portal is also under me. 
uh, actually senior citizen binigay na rin sa akin okay. education is also part of uh, my portfolio uh, napakaraming binigay sa akin na pagkakataon ni uh, former senator uh, gringo unasan mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. natutuwa naman ako dahil uh, nung panahon na nakaupo siya uh, talagang binigay niya kami ng free hand sa loob ng departamento kaya uh, marami tayong mga programang na, na isulong mm-hmm. uh, kahit na maikli lang yung panahon na nandun kami Uh, I was there for a uh, little more than a year. Mm-hmm. And of course, pagdating ng October, medyo bumabagal lahat ng gobyerno. But uh, at least I was able to do a framework for Payment Gateway, which mm-hmm. I think is uh, very vital. No? Na kung kaya mo magbayad ng mga tax mo from anywhere in the world, mm-hmm. malaking bagay yan para sa tao. So, uh, yun po yung talagang uh, tinutulak natin. Mm-hmm. Yung framework po na yan, it was approved before uh, Senator Gringo left I the see. office. So, October pa, mm-hmm. last year. And uh, sana maipagpatuloy dahil uh, yun na lang naman ang uh, pinakakilangan natin. Eh. The e- in ease of uh, paying taxes is uh, one of the biggest things that we can do. Mm-hmm. Especially not just for business but for taxpayers. Uh, so nakita ko po, no, so from my experience uh, in Manila back in the day, uh, hindi, namin, hindi kami nagtaas ng tax. Eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But ang, because of uh, automation of all these systems, systems, ang, ang ginawa namin, hinahabol namin yung mga hindi nagbayad. So, can, can you imagine from uh, 2.8 billion, we were able to increase it by, to 8.2 without increasing taxes? Wow. Huh? wow. Which I think, uh, especially now, no, uh, after the pandemic, if we can automate all these tax uh, payments, we can now find out also yung mga hindi nagbabayad instead of increasing taxes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kasi when you increase taxes, masama sa negosyo yan. Very. Masama <laughs> sa ordinaryong tao yan. Oh, kasi uh, chain reaction yan. Eh. Yes. So, ako, if you ask for my opinion, I do not like increasing taxes. But if we can uh, uh, make collections efficient, mm-hmm. uh, lalaki kagad ang uh, makukollekta niyan, which we can use now. Of course, uh, para naman matulungan din yung bansa natin. Oh. Na alam natin, oh, after this, medyo mahirap. Mm-hmm. Dahil dumaan tayo, two years na pandemya. Maraming negosyo bumagsak. Mm-hmm. Maraming nagsara. Maraming walang trabaho. And actually, that's one of the things also na, well, idadagdag ko na, no? Because education is also part of uh, my portfolio. Mm-hmm. We are now training uh, programmers mm-hmm. for free. <laughs> Online. Uh-huh. So, uh, as of, uh, when we launched it last month, ngayon, nasa mga, almost 5,000 students kami gagad. 5,000 students. Malaking opportunity yan, no? Yes. And uh, actually, I'm solving that problem, not just in the Philippines. No? It's a worldwide problem, no? Eh? Mm-hmm. Na halos lahat ng bansa na mga problema, wala na siyang programmer. Mm-hmm. Nagkakaubusan ng programmer. <laughs> But if you can recall, no, nung nag-9-11 dati, Philippines started with medtech. Mm-hmm. So we were flooding the world with the uh, medical techn- uh, technicians. Mm-hmm. Why don't we flood the world market with Filipino programmers? Yes. Uh, uh, of course, medyo, uh, I would say, ano, no, medyo, para ako nananaginip, sabi nila. But uh, mas gusto ko na yung nananaginip po kaysa wala akong ginagawa. Ah, totoo. <laughs> <laughs> At saka yung uh, programming kasi nga, di ba, na- mention natin earlier na now that na- nasanay na ang mga tao, no, gumagamit na ng internet, gumagamit na ng e-shopping, e-commerce, marunong na sila. So, mm-hmm. marami ng mga consumers, bali. Kung baga malaki na yung market para dito. So, yung mga, mga ka-entrops natin, no, no, may sarili negosyo. Kung yung uh, business nyo hindi pa rin computerized hanggang ngayon, no, uh, syempre, kinakailangan dyan ay isang programmer para gumawa ng uh, optimization ng uh, development nito. Mm-hmm. In, in fact, in every opportunity that I get, no, makakita ko ng maraming tao, I always tell them, uh, kayo ba gumagamit ng Shopee? <laughs> kayo ba gumagamit ng Lazada? Hindi mm-hmm. uh, lahat, oo. Oh. Uh, ang next na tanong ko, gusto niyo ba kayo na gumawa ng program na yan? <laughs> 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 Because y- yung programming kasi, hindi naman siya, ganun, hindi na siya kasing hirap dati. Right. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, yung programming is uh, once and zeros. Mahihilo yes. ka talaga. Uh, then, pumasok yung COBOL, pumasok yung assembly. <laughs> eh, mahirap yun. But right now, ang uh, programming is pretty much the same as uh, kasalta ka lang ng English. Eh. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's already in the English language. Sabi ko nga, mas mahirap pa mag-mihonggo kaysa mag-program yun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. At least ito logic lang talaga ang kailangan pag mm-hmm. nagpo-program. Logic and creativity mm-hmm. ang kailangan yun. Sa field na yan. Ayan. Si Chase pala, isang mga programmer din yan. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm also a developer. So, uh, I've actually enjoyed yung paggamit ng mga technology these days and uh, totoo nga na we do need more programmers and kasi considering yung mga Filipino very creative very skilled <laughs> nakita ko yung mga capability ng iba nakakalula in terms of skills I wish I could be as good as them I'm sure marami marami dyan marami may potential and yung mga uh, uh, mga movements nyo ngayon sir I'm sure would help those mga aspiring developers yun naman po gusto natin talaga makatulong din 
course, we again, I will not be competing with any of the private uh, educational institutions. Mm-hmm. But as I see it, uh, kulang na kulang talaga. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, as much as I can, ang ginawa namin, well, no, wala nang kailangan degree. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can be in high school, you can be in college, you can be a senior citizen, mm-hmm. as long as you're interested at gusto mo talaga mag-aral, we will allow. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're linking also private companies no? I see. with the system mm-hmm. yes. para naman uh, pag maganda yung grade nila, may instant trabaho. Pwede nga na, no? Kasi talagang uh, marami naman naghahanap din ng programmers. Eh. In yes. fact, that's one of the problems now of the private uh, institu- uh, companies. Eh. Mm-hmm. Gusto nila mag- mag-digitalize yung system, gusto nila mag-automate, but they, don't, they do not know any of the programmers. Yes. And we do have a, what we call as brain drain dito sa Pilipinas. Na pag magaling yung programmer, they are shifted outside the country. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's the problem. Tayo lang nakang sweldo dun eh. Uh-huh. You know, an average programmer now reaches about 400,000 400, a month. And hindi kaya ng ordinaryong uh, ne- negosyo yan. Negosyo yan. Mm-hmm. So, ang, ang galaw namin is paramihin na lang natin ang paramihin. Mm-hmm. Flood the world market with saturate. Filipino programmers. Pag nasaturate yan, may may iwan sa atin at least. Yes. Kesa <laughs> wala. <laughs> And at the same time, doing good by ano, no? providing all these new Uh, technologies no para sa mga uh, negosyanteng uh, kabayan natin din mm-hmm. sir uh, ali uh, para din doon sa mga ka-entrepreneurs natin maybe uh, matagal na rin hindi nakakakita ng computer no ano ba yung ginagawa ng DICT essentially or what does it really do okay ang number one mandate of the department is really to support the private sector in terms of mm-hmm. ICT mm-hmm. Uh, in fact uh, kaya uh, ang movement namin ako well i personally i always say we should create policies alang Let the private do it. Kaya yung uh, payment gateway that I did, yan, I, I think, uh, matutuwa marami dyan. Because, hindi ko na, well, initially, when I came in, ang gusto ng department is to create our own payment gateway. Mm-hmm. I said, uh, it's in our mandate to support the private. Mm-hmm. So, let's give it to the private. Tama. Yan ang so, kailangan. Yeah. So, I did the framework. It was finished by October. Ang gagawin, ang mangyayari dito is uh, yung mga payment gateways who wants to be part of the government transactions will tie up with land bank. Mm-hmm. So, ang collecting agency is land bank, mm-hmm. not the private. Ang kung may kikita dyan, gobyerno rin. Mm-hmm. Ang collection, gobyerno pa rin. So, all these providers now will become a sort of a supply, ano, a service provider. Service provider na. And at the same time, kung ikaw taxpayer, you, you will have an option. Hindi ka impresado na ito yung sistema ng gobyerno at yun ang gagamitin mo. Mm-hmm. Na pag pumalpak, wala kang paglilipatan. Mm-hmm. Ito, pwede ka na. Para kang, uh, para kang may ways, may Google Map. May choices. It's a choice yes. of the taxpayer. Ano yung mas gusto niyang uh, payment gateway? Mm. And Ayun the payment pa. gateway, will it add on to the cost ng ano, well, service? Yeah, yes. I, uh, ginawa ko dyan, no? I was purely on the technical side. The decision on uh, convenience fee will be for land bank. I see. Oh. Uh, I do not want to touch that kasi hindi, wala naman sa mandato namin yun eh. Mm-hmm. Ang mandato namin sa technical side eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pero if ever land bank decides, uh, at least kumikita nga doon, government, government muna. Oo, makakatulong pa rin. Uh, no? But uh, as, as I see it, no, marami mga local governments, for example, they have, they've allowed the payment of credit cards. Mm-hmm. Actually, medyo mabigat yan. Dahil uh, may batas tayo eh. Mm-hmm. Actually, I was caught there ano, 20 years back, no? <laughs> Nung nasa City Hall. Galit na galit ako dun sa loon na yun, eh. The, tax pay, the uh, taxes should be paid, uh, should be collected by the, ano, by uh, bonded officer. Ibig sabihin, tao. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, hindi ko na ituloy yung credit card ko nung panahon Asin. na yun. That's the reason why I did this payment gateway. Dahil ang kukolekta is government. Mm-hmm. So, land bank. Mm-hmm. Of course, land bank now will tie up with all the different uh, payment gateways in. Mm-hmm. So, ang collecting agency is land bank, government, legal siya. Aha, uh-huh. pasok na pasok. Pasok na pasok yun. And yeah. magagamit nyo kung ano man yung meron kayo, MasterCard, Visa, credit card, debit card, any yes. form na, no? Kasi depende sa service provider. Depende na sa service provider yun, if they're linking with land bank. Mm-hmm. Again, land bank ang main, or government bank dapat yan. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> That's an improvement, no? I mean, kung mapasok natin to, ano pa kayang benefits makikita natin when, if uh, matuloy, when and if matuloy ito? Well, uh, pag natuloy ito, can you imagine, uh, you're abroad, you want to pay your uh, real estate taxes, you want to pay your uh, business permits, well, hindi yeah, ka na kailangan mong hipa at pipila pa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, as much as that, I, I see the businesses will be booming also dahil mas mabilis eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, uh, of, of course, I was also part of, uh, I don't know, sa ARTA. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was part of those uh, 
nag-uusap kami na dapat ang permits mas mabilis. Kasi streamlining yan eh. Streamlining dapat. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, I had one question to, every, to everyone. Sabi ko dali, why are we talking uh, of uh, permits in series? I mean, step one, step two, step three. Uh, because since we have the central business portal already and it's up and running, mm -hmm. why don't we allow tax ano, yung tax, uh, uh, permits na hindi na series? In parallel na natin ano, payagan. Anyway, mm -hmm. makikita mo naman kung kompleto o hindi. Back in the day, kaya, kaya step one, step two yun kasi you want to make sure na they pass through all the necessary permits. Mm -hmm. But with the central business That's portal, and you can monitor already kung kompleto. Mm -hmm. Ang request ko sana, i-parallel natin. And uh, hopefully, one of these days, it will pass. Dahil pag pumasa yun, kung ang longest permit is 21 days, that means in 21 days, you can do business already. As in really operating, pwede na talaga, kung meron ka ng, uh, kumbaga, ano itong kailangan natin sa BIR yung uh, authority to print, meron ka ng kompleto na dapat in 21 days. Kaya nang gawin yun. Pag no. pinayaga na paralel ng uh, no. pagkuha mo ng permit. No. Actually, when I said that, tutuwa naman ako dahil marami sa mga privado. Mm -mm. Uh, kumampi naman, ah. sabi nga nila, tama yun. Mm -hmm. Including world, uh, yung grupo ng World Bank. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, uh, the next administration, nandiyan pa ako. And uh, definitely, I will uh, try to push that. Well, malaking, malaking tulong talaga sa mga negosyo, uh, negosyante. No? Lalong-lalo na kung magtatayo tayo ng bagong negosyo. No? Meron tayong bagong produkto, meron tayong gustong ihiwalay na produkto sa... Meron tayo ngayon, no? Having the ease of, nga, ease of doing business talaga, ang laking bagay. Aside from that, yung uh, na-mention yung ano, uh, uh, Sir Ali, yung sa C ano to? Yung, uh, Central Business Portal. No? Uh, uh, although ako nagamit ko na, yung para sa mga ka-entrops natin, uh, could you tell us something about that? Well, ito kasi nang ginawa namin Central Business Portal is instead of uh, getting permits uh, from different agencies, napupunta ka pa. Mm. Ito, it's now online. Mm -hmm. uh, mas mabilis na, mas madali na. Of course, uh, uh, sabi ko, no, uh, we're still starting pa rin. Eh. Mm -hmm. But um, well, what I'm proud of is at least nasimula na namin. Mm -hmm. Kasi dati talagang uh, pag magbabayad ka ng uh, tax, magagawa uh, ka ng bagong negosyo mo, uh, ikot ka sa lahat ng mga na, ano, national agencies, including locally. Ano. LGU, Ito pwede na, na sa Central Business Portal. Mm -hmm. A lot of the permits we have uh, uh, included already. Ah, we have link. Yung linking actually is the hardest part na. Uh, I'll be honest. Technically, that's a easy. That's the easier part. Mm -hmm. Yung linking of different agencies is a challenge. Mm -hmm. But uh, somehow we were able to link a lot of uh, no, BIR, DTI, SEC, uh, Dole, FDA, Dole, uh, FDA uh, including Fire uh, uh -huh. Bureau of uh -huh. Fire, Fire, <laughs> fire uh, Sanitation. <laughs> So and uh, actually uh, we've linked also as of now Quezon City and um, well we're trying to link Manila mm -hmm. pero Valenzuela na kalink nyan. Oh wow, okay. Uh, as, uh, as soon as matapos yan, we are going to link all those uh, with EBPLS. Mm -hmm. Mayro mga 800 uh, LGUs eh. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we have provided uh, with the uh, simple system pa yun. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an old system, however they're using it already. Mm -hmm. So if we will link that with the central business portal. Para ngayon, uh, about 800 LGUs, nakadikit na. Mm -hmm. So, kung uh, ikaw gusto mo magnegosyo sa probinsya at nakadikit yung LGU doon, uh, hindi mo na kailangan pumunta ng Pilipinas muna. Mm -hmm. Kahit nasa abroad ka, papahinga ka, you can now apply for a business. World class na world class ang dating natin. Um, I will not say world class, hindi ko pa muna pag-ayabang. But, <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, we will get there and we will do everything that we can. Pero yun, parang, world class talaga yun. feeling nyo na, pag nagagamit nyan, oh, parang uh, first world country na tayo, no? Kasi mm -hmm. eh, kahit na sa telepono ka, pwede ka na maggawa ng negosyo mo, pwede kang kumuha na, pati renewals of permits, possibly. Actually, yun naman talaga ang uh, target niya. na. Uh -huh. Of course, uh, the renewals kasi will take a little bit more time mm -hmm. because of uh, the information. Kailangan maipasak mo muna sa sistema. Yeah. Yeah. So, yung bi new businesses, pwede na. But uh, in time, one, at least yes, in time, we will put in uh, renewal doon na rin. At least nasimulan na, no? Kung hindi naman sisimulan, anong ayusin natin, di ba? Uh, by the way, mga ka-entrips, no? yung mga nakikinig at nanonood sa atin, no? Kung meron kayong comments, suggestions, or anything you'd like to share, no? Pwede nyo i-post or i-share or i-comment dito sa Facebook page natin, no? Kasi ito yung binabantayan natin ngayon. Or yung mga uh, text line or hotlines na binigay namin information kanina, no? Kung may tanong kayo kay uh, Yusek Atienza, no? Uh, Chase, ano pa yung tanong mo? Uh, sa ngayon. <laughs> Ayan, sir. Uh, speaking of which, uh, are there any other projects that you, ano, you're uh, pursuing, sir, for, para mga 
that would be more beneficial for the local MSMEs. Actually, uh, this is one thing that I've been doing. No? Kasi ever since I came in the department, mm -hmm. uh, pumasok kasi ko, wala namang may hawak na emerging technologies. Eh. Mm -hmm. So I, I requested, uh, then uh, Secretary Gringo na, son, mm -hmm. if I could handle emerging technologies. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, what I did with this, uh, uh, yeah. one is the innovations, of course. Number mm -hmm. two is actually opening the doors of the department to the private sector. Mm -hmm. I always believe mas mabilis ang private eh, kaysa gobyerno. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, ano, no offense to anybody, but mm -hmm. uh, it's true. Because the government is bound by a lot of rules. Mm -hmm. Pero pag ang private, mas mabilis. So mm -hmm. what I did is I opened the doors of the department and we started actually uh, practically uh, promoting uh, technologies that mm -hmm. can be used by both the government and the private. Mm -hmm. So, uh, nakakatuwa dahil lang, uh, sagot ko lang sa kalapalagi, sabi ko, Kailangan din ng gobyerno, kailangan ng gobyerno, kailangan ng private. Ang problema natin is, do people really know which technologies they can use? Mm -hmm. Or what are available? Yeah. Access, In access fact, I was talking to one uh, private company, no? I was requesting, sabi ko, padala nyo nga dito yung equipment nyo. Because so, uh, I want to test it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sabi niya, Ali, wala namang market sa Pilipinas yan. Sabi ko, kaya walang market sa Pilipinas, dahil wala nakakaintindi ng technology nyo. <laughs> <laughs> so let the department study it, and we will start uh, promoting it, not just the government, but to, to the private sector. Mm -hmm. Nakatawa naman, pinadala nila, now we're actually doing a sort of a POC. Mm -hmm. We're developing that system mm -hmm. that we can use actually sa PNP and AFP. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually a goggles. Oh, uh, Parang night vision daw, ganyan. Uh, right? Sabihin ko na kung sinong uh, kumpanya yan. Microsoft. Wow. Oh. You've seen the HoloLens? Pang, ano, HoloLens, pang training yeah. pala ito. So the first HoloLens reality. in the country is in my office. And we're, we're trying to develop now a system for PNP and AFP. Wow. wow. Now, can you imagine kung uh, mafifidan mo ng information yun? Uh, para ka naglalaro ng Counter-Strike. Mm -hmm. Pero nakatingin ka sa monitor ng kalaban mo. <laughs> At kinatawag natin dyan mga gamers, no? mga yeah. nagkukomsat, <laughs> na-shift yung utak mo. <laughs> 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 Ay, teka. Uh, eto pala nag-comment si Faith. Sabi niya, Hi, Entrep Radio. Mm. Oh, bakit nag-comment ka lang, partner? Pakita ka na. And nga pala, ang oras ngayon ay 2.32 p.m. po. No? Uh, mm -hmm. Magbabalik po ang Entrep Radio pagkaila ah, pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Entrep Radio Online. to Entrep Radio. This is your Mr. Entrepedia nagbabalik para sa ating Entrepedia Tips. Three tips para sa pagpapatakbo ng ating online business. Entrepedia Tip number two. Bigyang pansin ang mga uso. Ayan po, mabilis magbago ang online world at ang mga uso. Okay, mga trends ngayon. Tutukan natin ang mga ito para maagapan natin ang potensyal ng merkado o ang market at ma mas mapansin ang ating negosyo on the online world. Ayan po, ang ating ikalawang Entrepedia Tip. Bigyang pansin ang mga uso. And po. <laughs> also, a little update, a little pahabol po sa my birthday. And po, a message from si Sir Choi, Pocho de Leon Gonzalez. And po, happy birthday and happy anniversary, happy anniversary, sorry, <laughs> to his wife. Happy anniversary to Sir Choi and his wife. Happy anniversary po, Sir Choi. And also, happy birthday to uh, his mother and father, si Avelina Gonzalez and Luis Gonzalez. And po, sir. <laughs> Okay. Talagang nilahat mo na ng uh, event sa buhay no na uh, Chase, uh, birthday, anniversary, ano pa yung sinasabi mo? <laughs> Pulang na lang, ano, kasal, communion. In any case, no, mga kayantreps, <laughs> babalikan natin ang ating interview with Yusek Atienza, no. Uh, Sir uh, Ali, yung kanina na-mention yung uh, kamo, yung uh, HoloLens. Magandang mm -hmm. technology yun. Paano po ulit natin ginagamit? Actually, uh, uh, napakagandang technology, no. In, in fact, ang uh, problema lang natin dito sa Pilipinas nga, Marami hindi naman naiintindihan what mm -hmm. it is for. And mm -hmm. uh, actually, I tried uh, with my father-in-law. Mm -hmm. uh, ka, ikaw may ari ng building. Aakit ka ng building. Mm -hmm. Bigay mo na lang yung HoloLens. Pakitin mo yung engineer mo. Uh, kahit nasa bahay ka, nakikita mo lahat ang nangyayari. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the application no, na pwedeng gawin. Uh, in fact, uh, may, sabi mo may equipment ka lang sila. Mm -hmm. Pero yung technician mo nasa Amerika. How do you handle it? Pagamitin mo ng HoloLens o turo sa'yo, bibigyan ka ng diagram no? so while, while fixing uh, whatever nakikita mo yung mga diagram kita mo, pwede kang sabihan nung uh, kausap mo. yung uh, breakdown, yung parts ano, no? diagram. So yung, yung kesa magpapunta ka ng galing sa Amerika, na technician 
Wala na, HoloLens na lang gamitin mo. HoloLens. <laughs> so, ang daming applications eh. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's one thing that uh, I, I've been doing also, no? researching on all of this. Because I think, uh, in time, yan ang gagamitin na. Mm-hmm. Uh, papapunta ka ng tingin siyang galing sa ibang bansa. Uh, how much are you spending? Why don't you just buy a HoloLens? Mm-hmm. And uh, at any point na kailangan mo sila. Ah, yung teknisan mo ang gagalaw. Tipid ka na sa biyahe, mm-hmm. tipid ka sa lodging nila. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, ang daming cases nga. Like, uh, ano, pwedeng uh, uh, use ng uh, equipment na yan. Mm-hmm. Like for example, like I said, military. Uh, if you're going into, in a camp, iba yung nakikita mo yung mapa mo. Yeah. Nakikita uh, mo kung nasan ka. Top view parang gano'n. Uh, uh, so like I said, no, parang ka nag-counter strike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pero nakatingin ka sa monitor ng kalaban mo. Oh. So may advantage. Uh, And that's one thing that, uh, of course, the department has to do also, to, to study all these uh, new technologies. And let's find out how we can actually implement it in the country. Of course, people are talking about, uh, now, the ano, uh, smart cities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, a lot of mayors lights, have said uh, they want uh, their city to be smart. Oh. Pero ang question is, do they know how? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Maganda pakinggan. <laughs> But, of course, no, because uh, nasa akin yung emerging technologies, actually, I've seen mm-hmm. a lot of technologies that we can use in the country. Mm-hmm. In fact, uh, hopefully, uh, by next administration, I'm still here, uh, I want to do a POC, proof of concept, that mm-hmm. I can do a smart city. Mm-hmm. Yung mga traffic lights na... Ta- yung, ta- na yung timing na... hindi mano-mano. Tama. Yung timing is based on science, based on uh, mathematical equations. Diba? <laughs> Naka-stop ka, wala namang tumatawid. Nasaan na yung ano? Diba? Sayang yung oras eh. eh kung smart siya. Eh, if you mag-go. notice America, mm-hmm. on a regular <clears throat> ano, paggabi, you run at 40 km per hour. Lahat nakago. Mm-hmm. Puro green light yan. Mm-hmm. Eh, dito, dahil hindi pa nga smart yung mga traffic lights natin, kahit wala nang coach eh, Uh, you run at 40 kilometers per hour, stop lahat yun. Tapos pag tumawid, <laughs> pag tumawid ka, hulihin ka. <laughs> kasi wala namang dumadaan. <laughs> wala, talo ka pa rin eh. Kasi yun ang traffic law eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, yung kanina pala mga ka-entreps, yung uh, tinatawag dating HoloLens, no? ang uh, technology po behind that, it's called uh, augmented reality. No? Boss, actually, iba. Ay, hindi pa it's, augmented. It's mixed reality. Mixed, mixed reality, reality na. Iba, okay. iba yung augmented reality, iba yung virtual ah, reality. This is mixed oh. reality. So this is an uh, upgrade on just plain yes, augmented. Yes, sir. Oh. Kaya talagang uh, pag-aralan na natin yan. Uh, Actually, said, yun po ginagawa natin, pag-aralan natin yun, para at a certain point, na bumaba na rin yung presyo niya, mm-hmm. uh, the department Mas manageable the private, for the would know already anong pwede natin gawin doon sa equipment yan. Mm-hmm. Aside from this mixed reality, ano pang pwede natin uh, magamit para sa mga ka-entrips Actually, natin? isa sa mga gustong-gusto ko na, nasa pusina ko rin, meron ah. Mm-hmm. Yung, uh, ito yung mga equipment for uh, medical. Medical? medical. Yeah, you have to remember, <laughs> no? because of the pandemic. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Yung doktor natin, hirap na hirap. Yes. Ito pwede yung doktor, nasa pusina na lang niya. Mm-hmm. Yung equipment, dadali na lang. Kasi mm-hmm. maliliit na lang eh. Puro mm-hmm. IoT devices eh. Okay. So dadalhin yan kahit sa maliit na lugar, maliit mm-hmm. na barangay. Mm-hmm. Ang may dala is barangay health worker na lang. Uh-huh. Pero yung doktor can be in his office, nakikita niya yung nangyayari dun. Mm-hmm. And he can diagnose right away. So parang diagnostic device lang ang kailangan dalhin on-site. Yes. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung brains, yung mag-interpret ng data na yun, nasa opisina na lang. No? Nasa safe, opisina na lang. Din, no? yes. And he's also given the analytics eh, mm-hmm. coming from the devices eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, na uh, what I see, no? Uh, problema natin, ospital. Mm-hmm. Sa maraming islands, walang ospital. But if we can put that those equipment there, at least may pang first aid tayo. May pang... Mm-hmm. Can you imagine ECG? Pwede ka na mag-ECG, kahit ang health worker mm-hmm. ka lang. Tama. Wow. Yung doktor naman na mag, uh, magsasabi kung ano talagang uh, resulta. So, wow. Things like that. Uh, I, I really want to push that. Because I, I think that will help. No? Uh, yung... Naalala yung nag-pandemia, yung mga hospital natin, napuno lahat eh. Mm-hmm. But can you imagine, if all these health workers can somehow check, yung doctors natin, kung kulang man, pero nasa, kung nasa opisina lang sila, mas mabilis yun. Tama. Uh, At saka, kumbaga centralized ang information. Nasa, mm-hmm. na, sa kanya lahat babagsak, you know, yes, sa yes, department yes. nila. No? And actually, I will invite you, if at any point you want to see it. Uy, oo. <laughs> Kasi <laughs> alam, parang minsan pag nagkikwento ko, ang feeling na nag-invento ko eh. Like, why don't you go to my office so you can see it? <laughs> At least yun, sigurado makikita, ma- ma- matitesting. Oh, ano yan, Chase? Bakit? Yung... <laughs> Excited eh. <laughs> Then, natuwa lang ako sa technology kasi, you know, uh, yeah, it does sound like out of this world na parang wala dito sa Philippines yan. But then, si Sir Ali is like, 
Punta ka dito. <laughs> I'll prove it to you. <laughs> so, how about nung, ano, sir, nung uh, pandemic? Paano tayong uh, gumalaw nung pandemic? Uh, I'll be honest, uh, during the pandemic, hirap talaga. Mm-hmm. But uh, to be fair to Senator Gringo, nasa, mm-hmm. yeah. when he was secretary, he was able to push the internet ban to, I don't know, mm-hmm. bumilis yan. Mm-hmm. If you notice, from that year, that time until this year, uh, we have increased the broadband speed by 750%. Wow. 750%. Wow. Yung uh, mobile speed increased by 350%. Mm-hmm. Ang, uh, hindi lang namin maipagmayabang kasi uh, there remains a fact, the problem, that mm-hmm. 40% of Filipinos still wala pang internet. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a challenge no? because uh, islands tayo. Eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In fact, we have the same challenge as uh, Indonesia. Alright, mas malaki ang problema nila dahil <laughs> tayo 7,100 <laughs> islands, sila 12,000. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, I, you know, the, the, the government is now trying to push. No? Kaya nga yung mga ideas na may well, order ni Senator Green ganun. Ako, I really respect the guy because of uh, his orders. Kasi we have this program, free Wi-Fi for all. Mm. Free Wi-Fi for And ang order niya was to put it in areas where there is no internet. Mm-hmm. Oh. Kaya pag tinatanong sa Metro Manila, sabi, ano ba ginawa nyo? Ah, dito sa Metro Manila, konti na lang. Dahil we're pushing the private sector. Ang daming uh, telcos dito. Mm-hmm. Lahat ng telcos nandito, lahat ng uh, ISPs nandito. Pero in the provinces, wala. Mm-hmm. Because walang, walang negosyo doon eh. Dama. So, yun ang ginawa, ang order sa amin ni Senator Green Gunon was to put it in areas where there is none. Alam mo, umabot kami ng Turtle Island, tawi-tawi. <laughs> uh, uh, ganun kalalayo yung mga pinaglalag, ano. Actually, pag pumunta ka ng Turtle Islands, mm-hmm. ang signal doon, Malaysia na. Walang signal ng cellphone doon. <laughs> Pati yung radio nila. Uh, pero we were able to put internet in that area. Ah, nice. Uh, of course, uh, yung 11,000 is still not enough. Uh, we're constrained by budgets eh. Mm-hmm. Pero again, we're always asking kung merong private naman na gusto. Mm-hmm. In fact, when I was in Singapore, that's exactly what I said. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's a 40%, 40% of the country has no internet, has no connection. Mm-hmm. So I see an opportunity for the private sector. Yung 40% na yun is 40 million Filipinos yan. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, di ba? yung mm-hmm. areas na hindi binaglalagay ang uh, mga private natin dito, eh, maglagay naman na iba dun sa, mm-hmm. sa mga wala pa. Mm-hmm. Ano yan, for one reason or another, either physically or impossible talaga lagyan kasi nga hindi mapuntahan dahil yung daanan is wala or <laughs> kailangan tumawid ng dagat, di ba? So, ang solution natin doon talaga would be uh, something else. Yeah, I always say, no, yung private side is always the fastest route. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, I mean government. Pero yun talaga. We will have to admit that. Eh. If you don't admit that, then we will not be able to solve anything. Eh. <laughs> so, better with 40%, with 40 million Filipinos who has no, no connection, I think that's good business for anybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think by promoting market. that, on top market, uh, may papasok, may papasok din. And hopefully, uh, the soonest possible time, para naman mag-100% uh, all the islands would have connectivity. Mm-hmm. And uh, actually, yung sa digi- digital TV, yun din ang plano ko last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, to put the towers in areas where there is none. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, why will we copy uh, what uh, the other stations are doing? Kasi lahat nakafocus sa metro areas eh. Right. Yeah. Metro Manila, Cebu, Nandiyan Davao. Nandiyan market eh. Sabi ko, if I put the uh, towers all over uh, the country, nung wala, uh, it might be income generating for the government. Mm. Why? Because the two government stations can borrow uh, towers from uh, the private. Mm-hmm. Pero yung towers na itatayo ko, Ire-rent naman ang lahat ng private yan. Mm-hmm. To have 100% ka <laughs> TV at all, broadcast. Tama, tama. So I, I, I think it will be income generating for the government. And at the same time, yung 100% ng Filipinos can be di- digital uh, digitalized ng TV niyan dapat. Mm, all interconnected na. Yeah. Oh, at saka magandang revenue stream din yun na kahit pa paano. No? Kung hirap na hirap kumuha ng taxes. Di ba? I mean, hindi pa maayos masyado. At least there are other forms of ano. Kasi the mm-hmm. government actually should be run like a company din minsan eh. Parang yes. hindi naman para puro utang ng... Kaya ganun nang nangyari sa atin eh. Puro utang eh. Uh, kasi nga, walang pumabalik eh. Walang, walang pumapasok na income. Walang pumapasok tapos puro gastos. Paano natin gagawin yan ngayon kung hindi natin uh, pag-iisipan ng uh, forms of uh, sus- uh, sustainability. sustainability. So, uh, Sir Ali, nung... Uh, uh, eto, eto, medyo mga ano... Ano pa bang uh, ibang ginagawa ng uh, office nyo aside from this? Well, uh, actually, ang main ko talaga no, is uh, digital TV, mm-hmm. yung isa doing business, uh, education, 
Of course, actually, alam, alam niyo pa, pati senior citizen, nagtuturo na ako. Ayun na nga, pa, pa, paano yung si senior citizen? <laughs> Medyo mas challenging yun. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, uh, when, when we tried it first, may mga senior citizen na paghawak, kasi pini, hindi pwede online eh, hindi uh-huh. na kaya eh. Yes. So, at a certain point na open ah, nag-invite kami ng mga senior citizen for testing. Of course, testing din. No? Mm-hmm. Yung paghawak pa lang ng mouse, nanginginig na iba eh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kinakabahan eh. Because of the technology, which I see, no, uh, it's a good experience for us also. How how do we teach them? Mm. And I, I see, uh, well, hopefully, pumasarin yung uh, hinihingi ko nga request na budget. Mm-hmm. Because what I wanted to do was to create a sort of a TV show. Mm-hmm. Teaching ICT to senior citizens. Uh, para yung dahan-dahan na hindi matatakot. Mm-hmm. And to show them also yung, uh, you know, holding a mouse is like holding a pen. But if you don't know the technology... No, no, tako te. Yes, yes. Uh, but I, I, we, we were able to uh, have some senior citizen graduate. No, iba na tako te, malas. Pero may mga graduate, and from that experience, we continue nyan, tuli tuli na, tuturo kami. And I guess hindi naman din lahat ng senior citizens meron maasahang apo or somebody to teach them, no? So how can they access the kunari their bank records? Hindi na sila makalas, hindi sila makalabas. Well, actually, sa pandemic, yun yung uh, one thing na nagawa ng pandemic. Mm-hmm. Everybody was forced. To use technology. Uh, to, to be oh, online, uh, no? I remember uh, in one university that I was, uh, before I went inside the ICT, may tinutulungan ako isang university. Mm-hmm. Uh, maraming gusto mag-resign ng mga teacher na matatanda. Ah. Ang sabi lang nila, we don't understand Zoom. So we will not use it. Mm-hmm. So we'd rather... Paano kayo magtuturo? Sabi niya, mag-retire na lang kami. Sabi ko, sir, huwag kayo mag-retire. We'll do something about it. So what I did with that school is, uh, I, I created parang a sort of classroom. Mm-hmm. Now they can still teach. On a normal way, mm-hmm. pero may camera man sila, may uh, <laughs> just to cater to those na talagang, yep, although na, surprisingly, after two years, nag-zoom na rin eh. Marunong na. na natuto rin eh. Hindi uh-huh. na kailangan ng backup. <laughs> <kung baga. laughs> oh, so, yun yung kung may nagawa yung uh, pandemic sa atin, especially in terms of ICT, everybody was forced to use technology. I mean, everybody was forced to use uh, Lazada, Shopee, and all this uh, yeah, Even yung mga ano, cashless, no? Yeah, Natuto yes. na mag uh, pa Gcash, Paymaya. Gcash has about 80 million users now. Yeah. And we're only, what, 100, 110 million population? So, <laughs> you can see, majority of Filipinos now use technology. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I, I think uh, that's what we can use also to push ICT in the country because gumamit natin lang kayo. Mm-hmm. Uh, di tulo ano natin paano gumawa ng sarili yun nga nung sir sabi nga na nabasa na kayo di maligo na kayo <laughs> so, simulan din eh <laughs> how about uh, other plans po ano pa bang uh, what else uh, are we looking at na pwede pa nating i-improve actually isa sa mga well especially for digital TV no? mm-hmm. um, I, I'm, I'm actually I've been forcing kasi na gamitin yung uh, Emergency warning broadcast system. Okay. Ooh. Meron pala tayo nun. We have that. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why we, you know, no, it was decided on ISDBT, Japanese uh, technology and gamitin. Right, tama. It was because of that early warning broadcast system. And uh, of course, in one of the meetings, ang tanungan palagi is budget. I go, mm-hmm. may budget? Oh, wala. Let's create that policy. Because I know for a fact, the private sector would want to use their system. Mm-hmm. You know, I was talking to uh, GMA and uh, some other TV stations. Mm-hmm. Asa kuti lang, we have uh, ano, na- nakakapit naman yan, di lang oh. namin ginagamit. Okay. No, sabi ko, pag may emergency, dapat gamitin na natin. Mm-hmm. Like, tab- ang sagot sa akin ng iba, eh, wala, pa tayo, wala pa tayong server. Okay, do- di bumili tayong server. Mm-hmm. When, the, when the server uh, arrives, ano na yan, full automation na yan. But let's start from something. Mm-hmm. Since yes. nandiyan na rin lang, gamitin natin. Yeah, Napagastos na before. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, sabi ko, whether it's government or private, in an emergency, yeah, I think everyone wants help. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. <laughs> kung uh, napatakbo yun, before, uh, let's say, yung uh, mga bagyong tumama sa Sargao. Right. Eh, sana na-warning ang lahat. Na-warning ang new area rin. Oh, that's, well, that's one good thing with that uh, technology. Because yung uh, pwede kang mag-send uh, ng warning to an area. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman siya nationwide eh. Yung area lang na gusto mong uh, kayari. Alam mong tatama sa Siargao, di ma-warning na sila. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, yung, yung malaking-malaking bag yung tatama sa inyo. Uh-huh. Please, di ba? Ito na yung totoo. Hindi to chismis. No? Yeah. Hindi, to, <laughs> pa, hindi to social media na for, uh, fake news. No? Eh, ang maganda pa dito sa emergency warning broadcast system kasi as long as nakasaksak yung TV mo, kung uh, capable siya mm-hmm. to, receive either, that to receive that signal, bubukas TV mo. Uh, oh. Instantaneous siya. It's not like SMS na may right, latency. Right. Uh-huh. Of course, what we're using right now is SMS. Yes. SMS. Eh, 
pag namatay na namatay na yung stations mo na pagdadaanan, wala na rin yan. And this thing is not an inconvenience. Eh. This is your uh, safety and health. Eh. Yes, yes. Life and death to eh. Guguluhin lang naman kayo niyan pag meron talaga <laughs> disaster, <laughs> di ba? Hindi naman, ay, ayoko bumukas yung TV ko ngayon, ganyan, may ginagawa ako, di ba? <laughs> It's either... <laughs> Pero tatama na yung uh, tidal wave siya. Eh, ito nga eh. Instantaneous, we can say, di ba? Uy, tatama siya, magtago ka na. Mataga siya gaw, di ba? And yan na nga, no? dapat talaga before pa natin nagagamit yung ganyan technology. Kasi basic na ito eh, di ba? So ako, even the uh, last few days of the administration, I'm still trying to uh, push. Sana kahit magkapirmahan lang doon sa policy na yan. Mm-hmm. Para whether I'm still there or not, magamit na. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, that's a thing, ano, importante eh. Mm-hmm. Especially, uh, well, sa Manila, nung time, pag may sunog, minsan nauna pa ako sa bumbero eh. <laughs> uh, but if you have that, everybody will be informed right away. At mm. least, kung pila sa talbol kayo, no, puputok na, ma-warning ka mo yung buong era na yun. Mm-hmm. So bago pumutok, yun, nakalis na sila. Mm-hmm. So hindi ka na maghihintay na pumutok sa alam magtatakbuhan. Hindi ka na pa plano na mag- <laughs> mag-hiking dun sa <laughs> puputok na pala. <laughs> hindi na, ay. <laughs> Actually, I remember, marami kong mga narinig na mga kababayan natin, ano, nung sa Tagaytay. Mm-hmm. Nung nalamang umuusok, nagpuntahan pa sa Tagaytay para manood eh. Nagpa-selfie pa yata. <laughs> <laughs> so, if we had that emergency warning broadcast system running, uh-huh. uh, at least, diba, umawarning ang kaya, uy, delikado na yan, di ba? Uh-huh. And everybody would know. It's a day, uh, pag lumabas kasi yun, only on a parang critical and dangerous uh, times then. Exactly. And uh, I think it's only really the government who can do this. Actually, totoo lang. Private kaya rin. Kaya lang, ang uh, responsibility of course relies on the government. Eh. Yan na. Kung walang will dyan. Yeah. And I've problema. seen the technology na nandyan na. Mm-hmm. So sabi ko nang hinayang ako, walang, hindi na patakbo. Mm-hmm. So I'm really pushing na uh, mapatakbo ngayon and hopefully, even before I leave the department, sana wag naman, pero if I do leave the department, ang gusto ko mapatakbo pa rin nila yun. At least nasimulan na. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, Sir Ali, any other uh, last uh, tips for our mga ka-entreps? Uh? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, um, siguro what I can say is, ano, uh, well, my, depart- my office is always open to suggestions. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I always say, nobody knows every single technology. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, kahit si Bill Gates, hindi niya alam lahat eh. <laughs> so I will not say alam ko lahat. But uh, my office is always open. Uh, in fact, that's... Uh, in fact, like yung sinasabi yan. If you have uh, reactions, uh, suggestions, please, uh, we are open. Because uh, ang tingin ko, pag ang gobyerno nakikinig, mas mabilis ko balaw eh. Mm-hmm. And uh, that I will say to everyone, um, my office is always open to the public. Hindi po ako nagtatago. And... Uh, any suggestions, okay po yun. Sana lang po, wag violent reaction. <laughs> Thank you po. <laughs> And uh, paano ba nila kayong makokontak? Yes, sir. Actually, uh, my office is on the second floor of the Department of Information and Communications Technology. My email is also in the website. Yan, o. Oh, uh, pwede po nila kung, uh, o kaya naman po, kung uh, tatawag sa inyo, mm-hmm. I'll give you my number. Ah, okay. Para <laughs> diretso nyo na ako, sabihan nyo na. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun, no? So, mga ka-entreps, no? Uh, Ah, wait. Ito pala, no? May mga comments. Uh, basahin na rin natin, no? Ba- bago umalis ang ating uh, guest for today, no? So from uh, Halon Jelon. Sabi niya, maupay na hapon po. Happy Sunday and stay safe. From Andrew Remulasho. Sabi niya, ox na ox po. Yan, sir. No? Sana matuloy po yan. Greetings from South Korea. Ooh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your comments, mga ka-entrips, no? At yan na nga, no? So, k- nakasama natin si uh, Yusek Ali at Yenza ngayon no na talagang dami nating na share nakuha sa kanyang information no with regards to mga programs mga plano na uh, gagawin ng kanyang opisina under the DICT no and uh syempre if you have any other comments mga ka-entreps just uh okay mahiya no you can leave it dito sa ating Facebook page no uh, para mabasa natin yes. so yan Uh, Sir Ali, thank you po ulit sa pag-share sa amin dito, no? pagsama sa Entrep Radio. And uh, we hope to have you again next time, lalong-lalo na kung meron pang mga bagong plans. No? Mm, thank you rin po. At uh, sana po huwag kayong magsawang imbitahin ako. <laughs> <laughs> of course, sir. Lalong-lalo na uh, very useful po sa mga ka-entreps natin yung mga information na ganito. Mm-hmm. And paano ba magbabago ang kanilang mga negosyo pag gumamit na to. Mm-hmm. So, yan. Okay. okay. At... Uh, 
pasok na muna tayo sa Entropedia Tip number 3. No? Ayan po. Okay, sige. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Welcome back, mga kajabs, to our third and final Entropedia Tip for our three tips para sa pagpapatakbo ng online businesses. Num- Entropedia Tip number three, patuloy lang sa, pag- sa negosyo at magtsaga. Ayan po, so kakaiba, kakaiba ang mga hamon ng isang online business, mga kajabs, at talaga naiiba ito sa isang physical na negosyo. Ganun pa man, patuloy lang tayo sa pagtatrabaho para unti-unti nating mapalaki at mapakilala ang negosyo natin online. At yan po ang ating pangatlong Entropedia Tip, patuloy lang sa negosyo at magtsaga. Wala po sa ating Entropedia. Iyan. Yeah, no? Yung mga tips talaga natin, lalong-lalo na galing kay Chase, eh, talagang uh, magagamit ng ating mga ka-entreps. And speaking of comments, no, mm-hmm. may uh, humabol from, uh, basahin na natin kasi may oras pa, mm-hmm. from Mel De Los Santos. Greetings from Cebu. Dapat, mas sumikat si Yusek Ali kay Kuya Kim. <laughs> ano ba yan, sir? <laughs> Siguro, gagawa na lang ako sarili kong trivia. <laughs> Alam niyo ba, bakit hindi kami magkamukha ni Kuya Kim? Bakit, sir? <laughs> Ampun lang si Kuya Kim. Nebira lang po. <laughs> <laughs> Baka magalit sa akin, kapatid ko. <laughs> Sabi mo, bumabawi, bumabawi. <laughs> And from, ano, from Andrew Remolasio ulit. Sabi niya, sana po ma-absorb si Sir Ali ng bagong admin na no, papalit. Okay. So, yan po mga ka-entreps, no? Uh, nakasama nga natin ngayon si Yusek Arnold Ali Atienza, no? Thank you very much, sir, ulit, no? At uh, I'm sure mga ka-entreps natin, pag nanood ulit nito or na-miss out nila some parts, no? Pwede nyo po panoorin yung replay. Mm. And uh, Chase. Yes. And also, thanks to Arma mga ka-entreps na masugid na nakikinig at nanunood sa ating programa tuwing linggo. Maraming salamat din sa production ni production team namin at sa mainit, mainit na pagtanggap sa amin dito sa DWIZ 882. Ang susunod na programa mga kentrips ay Senior Citizens Forum with Meng Canlas at Dr. Rene Catan. At inaanyayahan na Inaanyayahan namin ang mga ka na sumama or sumali dito sa Entrep Radio. Just send us a message, no? lalong-lalo na kung uh, may uh, pwede kayong i-share sa ating mga ka lalong-lalo lalo na nung pandemic. How did, uh, ano yung mga problema dinaanan nyo and ano yung mga solusyon na ginawa nyo, no? Mm-hmm. This can help motivate and inform our uh, mga kanegosyo, ka no? on their own businesses. At syempre, maraming maraming salamat kay Sir Choi, the Voice Master Gonzales na walang tigil sa pagtulong at pag-motivate sa ating mga kaboses. And kung interesado kayo maging isang voiceover artist, sumali na sa Certified Voice Artist Program na ginawa at pinamumunuan ni Pocholo, the Voice Master Gonzales. Ang mga online session na ito ay nakatuon upang pagalingin ang natatanging kakayahan nyo sa pag At sa pamumuno ng isa sa pinakakilalang Influential speaker sa buong Pilipinas, Pocholo, the Voice Master Gonzales, ma-inspire at ma-inform sa talakayan ng inyong mga ka-entreps dito sa DWIZ 882 kasama ang inyong lingkod, Rene the Envoy Storalba. At ang inyong nag-iisang Mr. Entropedia, Stephen Chase Lemon. Okay. Ayun po. <laughs> at at, at yun yung sasabihin ni Faith. Ayun po lang yung sasabihin ni Faith. Wala ngayon ano. <laughs> <laughs> Ang Entrep Radio, the voice of Filipino entrepreneurs, ay inihatid sa inyo ng DWIZ 882 at ng Creative Voices Productions. Sa pakikipagtulungan ng Certified Voice Artist Program, Voice Acting Academy Philippines, Meta Voices Talent and Casting Agency, Dubbing Booth Company, Creative Sound Studios at ng Voice of the Youth Network. Ito po ang Entrep Radio sa DWIZ 882, the, the voice, voice of, of Filipino, Filipino entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs. See you next time.